Hi, this is Arthur Hill, Senior Technical Analyst with StockCharts.com. This instructional video will cover line annotations in chart notes. Here is what we're going to cover today. We'll start with drawing trend lines. Then we'll move on to modifying the color and the opacity of those trend lines. We'll then show you how to change the width, the style, and the arrowheads on these trend lines, and how the pin feature works. We'll then move on to the vertical and horizontal lines, show you how to use the auto support and resistance tool, and then show you how to draw parabolas or curved lines. Selecting the trend line tool and drawing trend lines. I'm going to open up chart notes by clicking the annotate link at the lower left. And then I'm going to open up the line annotations by clicking this little triangle at the top of the trend line button. And you can see all the line annotations there. If I want to draw a trend line, I select that trend line. I move to the starting point, click, and then drag that trend line to where I want it to be. And I choose my ending point and I let go and I have a trend line. You will immediately see that there are two yellow handles at either end of the trend line, and these can be used for further adjustments. If I want to extend that trend line a little further, I can do that. If I want to shorten it on one end and raise it, I can do that as well. Sometimes you'll see your trend line and you won't see the yellow handles for making adjustments. Well, you can activate that trend line by going over to the selection tool at the top left, little arrow there, Click that and you can select the trend line. And once you select it, the yellow handles appear and you can make your adjustments to that trend line. Chartists can also draw a perfectly straight horizontal or vertical line. Select the trend line, hold the control button down and drag and draw. And you can see it will be perfectly straight. If you have an existing trend line you want to make straight, Grab a handle, hold the control button down, and drag it to make it straight. The same can be done with vertical lines. Choosing colors and adjusting the opacity of your lines. You can easily modify the colors by using the drop down menu at the top. If you see, there are three colors on the left bar here, and those are the three most recently used colors. So if I want to change this upper trend line to red, I can immediately use one of those three most recently used colors. If I want a different color, I click the drop down and you can see I have a whole list of possible colors. So I can choose blue again and there are some other recently used colors at the bottom as well. You can adjust the opacity of a trend line by opening up the color drop down menu and using the slider at the bottom. And as I slide this slider to the left, the trend line becomes more transparent. You can also create a custom color by using the color selector on the right. I can use the slider to choose a color I like, then pick within that color box and click choose to change that color. Adjusting the width, style, arrowhead, and using the pen feature. I can use the toolbar at the top to change the width, the styles, or the heads. You can see I've got the red trend line selected. And if I want a thicker trend line, I can click a thicker line there at the top. It's currently a solid line. You can see the blue solid line is highlighted. That's the current line style. I can choose a dashed line if I want. And if I want to add an arrowhead to the end of that, I can click for the arrowhead. You can also add or remove an arrowhead by highlighting that line, selecting it, and holding down the shift key and then clicking. So I click and the arrowhead disappears, hold down the shift key, click again, and the arrowhead reappears. There's a button at the end of the toolbar at the top for pinning your annotations, including trend lines. Now by default, the annotations are not pinned. And what that means is, if you have this trend line here, it's going to stay with this particular price set as new data comes on and it moves to the left. Same with this trend line here. But the black trend lines here, I'm going to go ahead and pin them. And that means they're going to stay in the middle of the chart. 
Now I'm going to adjust the date range so you can see how pinned annotations work and normal annotations. I move the date range to the left and you can see that the blue trend line at the top stays with the prices as does the red trend line. So it moves with the prices, but the pinned annotation does not move and it stays in the center of the chart. Drawing vertical and horizontal lines. I can place a vertical or horizontal line by moving to the vertical line button, clicking it, and then moving to the spot on the chart. I want a vertical line and just doing a click. And I move to another spot at a click. And you can see the yellow handles at the top and the bottom show that it is selected. So if I want to move that to another spot, I can click and drag to another spot. When you click and hold down on that vertical line, the date will appear and you can move that vertical line to a particular date. The horizontal line works the same way. I simply click the horizontal line, click to add horizontal lines. And if you see over on the left, when I click on that line and hold the click, you can see the value and you can move it to where you want it. Using auto support and resistance lines. The auto support and resistance line works similar to the horizontal line. Click to select, move to the spot you want to add that line and click. And you can see it will be red when prices are below and it turns green when prices are above. So you can click to add more and you can also hold down that click to see the value of the line and move it to where you want it to be. Drawing parabolas or curved lines. There are two ways to draw the parabola. First, we select it, and then we can click on three spots on the chart to draw the beginning, the middle, and the end. And you can see the handles are there, and we can use those handles to adjust the parabola as we like. Or we can draw a freehand parabola, and it will take shape. We can do that above or below prices. If you want to move the parabola, you can use the select button to select a parabola and then move the entire thing. And that concludes this video on line annotations for chart notes. Thanks for watching and be sure to check out our other instructional videos.